Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, I'm fantastic, despite the markets. Uh, the company is doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back on the program. Well, we here at Rich TV Live, we love Vox Royalty Corp. And we're going to start off with the big news. Kyle, Vox announced a dividend last week. Can you tell us more about this news? Yeah, it's a tremendous milestone for our business. We've been on the program many times talking about the growth of our portfolio from a producing asset count, from an expansion perspective, growing re revenues, quarterly record revenues, quarter after quarter. And you know, we have turned the, the corner in terms of our ability to generate returns for our investors, cash flow from operations. And so it was really exciting for us to announce this dividend. It's a 1.8% yield as of where we were on Tuesday when we announced the dividend. And it puts us in the upper quartile of our precious metal peers that are paying royalties. And it's a, it's a dividend that we believe, one, is meaningful, two, is sustainable, and three, that we would expect to, to grow over the coming quarters and years. So a really exciting milestone for our business and for our shareholders. Congratulations on the dividend. And I know one of the questions that our community has been thinking about is, how are the fundamentals looking in this really tough market? And what is your view on the sustainability and growth prospects of the dividend? Well, one of the things that we've been speaking about a lot lately is the quality of the assets and the quality of the growth of our assets. So we've validated our ability to find royalties anywhere from a day to three years out from production and see those ass assets come online and really crystallize the value for Vox and our shareholders. And so when you look at where we were two plus years ago, we had one producing asset, we ended up selling that asset. We now have six producing assets and we expect that to be double digits as we exit 2023 with three of the next near term producing assets that one we've already received notice uh, is essentially in production now are gold assets in Western Australia, which we think is one of the most prolific combinations you can have as a royalty company, gold exposure, along with being in Western Australia. So it's a really exciting trajectory for us. And so we also have three of our main assets expanding their production profile. So you overlay expanding production with new assets coming into production, which is that crystallization event of us then starting to get revenue is so profound and so significant that it led us to look at the, the forecast that we had. We believe that we're now in position, obviously, to pay a very meaningful dividend and that that growth was going to sustain it and put us in position to grow it. And so it's a really exciting time for Vox. That's clearly uh, been lost in some of the noise of what is an overall bearish market, as we all know. But our company in Vox continues to build very significantly, I guess somewhat quietly based on um, you know, what our valuation is compared to peers. But ultimately, I think that's going to showcase itself for investors and our market valuation is going to reflect the true inherent valuation that the business has at present time and, and what it's going to also grow into. Now we're currently in a massive bear market, one of the toughest markets I've ever seen in quite some time. How is the market affecting the business right now? Well, we all know that inflation has been very, very high now and for probably a more prolonged period than well, certainly the Fed expected. Um, and the reality is most businesses are seeing their margins contract because of the inflationary pressure on their costs. They're seeing revenues and their top line growth forecast coming down. Vox is the opposite in both respects. And I think that is probably the highlight to really um, emphasize with all of your viewers is you have this market where they're lowering growth forecasts, lowering growth expectations. Vox has clearly come out. We, our guidance last year was to achieve around $4 million of revenue. We achieved $4.6 million in revenue. This year, we've, we've doubled that revenue guidance. The year after, which would be 2023, analysts have us going up significantly so as well. And we're not afflicted by the inflationary pressures. Because we're taking a top line revenue percentage on these mining operations, we're not afflicted by all the input cost inflation, the capital expenditure cost inflation. So we're insulated from what, what, what is essentially one of the biggest risks in the market today, which is the inflationary cost pressures. 
and we're growing. And so our margins are expanding when most industries are expected to see margins contract, growth to contract. Uh, Vox is quite the opposite. And to top that off, we're trading at what we believe is the lowest relative valuation in the sector. So we think even in these very challenging market conditions, Vox is, um, is a company that investors should consider. Now, there's three things that shareholders have to look forward to. One of them is continued growth from new producing assets. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so one of, you know, one of the reasons why we're so confident in the trajectory of the business and obviously why we were able to come out with our inaugural dividend last week is the, the, the revenue growth. A lot of that is coming from the expansion of assets. And so one of the big assets that we had that we acquired recently, we came on the show when we announced the transaction was the one million iron ore royalty. When we bought that, that was producing at a rate of between four and five million tons per annum. We had pretty good line of sight that that would increase. We didn't know to the magnitude that it would or could increase. And now it's permitted for 13 and a half million tons. So that's a 130% increase in the production profile of that asset since acquiring it. So it's on that trajectory to achieve those results. And so we're really excited about that. The other asset that we've talked about on the program as well is our asset over uh, what is now the largest heat leach project in all of Western Australia. That asset has undergone an expansion to make it so. And so we will start to see the benefits of that asset and its production profile and the revenue to Vox likely over the next quarter or two and then going on from there. So we're really excited about that. And then, as I mentioned, we're at six producing assets now. We have very good line of sight on another three to four coming in in the very near term. And then ultimately double digits as we get closer to exiting 2023. So it's very, very profound and significant growth for our business and our shareholders and it's only amplified by the fact that we're not exposed to many of the inflationary cost pressures that most industries are. The second one was the expansion of in-production assets, which you touched on a little bit. Can you explain to us what that means, in-production assets? Yeah, so those are the assets that are already producing minerals and producing revenue to Vox. So we've seen a, a tremendous amount of expansion in those assets. So they were already producing now they've undergone an expansion to produce even more metal, even wow. more revenue. And one of the things I would highlight within that is, you know, we've talked about the market being tumultuous. We've talked about the challenges of inflation, but metal prices, when you price it in Aussie dollar terms, which is where a lot of our assets are, we believe it's the best mining jurisdiction on the planet, Western Australia in particular, Aussie gold is at $2,500 an ounce. It has been maintaining almost all time highs because it's not affected. The, the, the dollar getting stronger makes the Aussie currency stronger um, or, or essentially weaker compared to the dollar, which makes its gold price higher. So these assets have a, had a very high sustained metal price, which means that they're making more money Aussie dollar terms. And so it's incentivizing them to continue building and expanding their assets. And that's what we're getting the benefit of. So it sounds a little complex, but basically Aussie dollar to gold, been all-time highs for four plus years. We're seeing the benefits of that turning over within our asset profile. And so even the in-production assets are seeing significant expansions and that's building our revenue at Box and Turn. And Kyle, can you give us an update on the potential for the NASDAQ listing? Yes, look, so we filed a 40F, which is kind of the gating item with the SEC uh, back in late June. And we believe we're very close. We believe we, we hit every qualification to be on the NASDAQ. And I would expect that to be coming in the very near future and, and something that we're excited about and believe will be a very meaningful catalyst because, Rich, Vox was built for the generalist investor. As we've talked about before, the investor that's not the mining engineer or the geologist that wants exposure to commodities and wants to find the right ways to get that exposure in the best risk adjusted format, we believe that's royalties. And when royalty companies do that right, like Fox, we believe those companies outperform and generate the return investors should expect. You're seeing that with our dividend. The NASDAQ is really us coming full circle because those are the institutions and those are the investors that we were built to serve um, and create value for. We've had some of the who's who and most notorious and well-respected mining investors on the planet become shareholders of Vox. And we're privileged to have their support and, and then be shareholders with us. But ultimately, what we were built for was for the general investor and the NASDAQ listing. I believe that's going to open us up to the audience that we're actually truly solving the biggest problem for. And that's how you get the right exposures and commodities. And with what I think is coming down the road, 
it's going to be what I think is a very, very good environment to be a royalty company like Vox. I agree. I think this is a great time for investors to look at Vox Royalty Corp. Take a look at the symbol here in Canada, VOX. In the United States, it's VOXCF. And I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I believe this is a company that has incredible potential and now is offering a dividend. 1.8% is a great start. Uh, really, really impressed with the dividend. I know we've talked about it. Now you guys have issued it. So that's another huge incentive for investors to look at Box Royalty Corp. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Box Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. And love to invite you back in the future if you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, Kyle. That'd be my pleasure. Thanks so much, Rich. Thank you for your time today. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd, saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.